Tool Windows are first class citizens in Visual Studio. And of course, you know, Solution Explorer, Error List, the Output Window, and a whole lot of other tool windows already. The good news is that a tool window is just WPF and SAML, so you can use your existing skills in those technologies. And everything you can express in SAML, you can put in a tool window. Now, there's two things we need when we're adding a tool window. The first is that we need to add a command, usually to the view top level menu under other windows, so that users have a place that they can go and open our tool window. And second, we need the tool window itself. So let's look at those two things and add them to our extension. We're going to start by adding the command to the command table file. And the first thing we do is that we create a new ID symbol and we give it a descriptive name. Now this is the command for opening the tool window. So we call it open GUID window and give it a unique ID. We're just going to copy the previous button and update some of the metadata, such as the ID, to match the newly created ID symbol. We're going to keep the same icon here that we used for our previous command. And we're going to call the command for insert GUID window. Now, I want this in the view menu, so I'm going to update the canonical name to reflect that. Currently, the parent of our button is the previous menu group which is defined right here, and it's located in the Edit top-level menu. But I want to put this in with the other tool windows under View and Other Windows right in here. To do that, we come down to our button and we change the good of the parent element to be VS Main Menu. And then we can specify and see in the IntelliSense list the names of the different locations I can put my command. I'm just going to search for other windows and insert that right here. Now that we have declared our command, it's time to create the command handler. I'm just going to copy and paste an existing command handler I already have and give it a name that matches the ID that I declared in the XML file here. I also have to remember to rename the class name itself, of course, and I can just delete the code that was uh, applied to the command I copied. And then I have to update the ID to match the one in the XML file. And that's it. I now have my command declared and I can move on to the next step, which is to create the tool window itself. We're going to right click the project and say add new item. Then navigate to the extensibility category and choose async tool window. I'm going to call it GUID window. That's going to create a folder called Tool Windows and put my GUID window class in here as well as a SAML file. I'm going to update some of the properties in my GUID window. Here, give it a good title. And it points to a pane, which is a Tool Window pane defined down here, where I can put additional metadata such as the image. I'm going to use the same image as I have in my commands. It returns the GUID window control, which is the SAML file that I have right here. The template gives me a very simple SAML file with just a big button on it. Go into the code behind. I can see what's happening in the button click event handler. I want to execute the existing my command command to insert a GUID into the text editor. So I'm going to use the API to execute my command. I'm going to call fire and forget on the task to let it safely execute in the background. All that is left now is to register the tool window on the package class. I do that by adding an attribute called provide tool window and in it specify the type of my newly created GUID windows pane type. After doing that, I need to register tool windows from the initialize async method in my class. This is very simple. I simply call register tool windows and that's it. We have to do this to let Visual Studio know about our tool window. All that is left to do now is to hook up our tool window to our command. 
So when our command is being executed, we want the tool window to open. So I can simply call GUID window dot show async. And that's all we need to add a tool window to our extension. Now let's build and run our extension in the experimental instance of Visual Studio. Let's start by opening a code file to insert a GUID into, and then check in the view menu to see if our command shows up under other windows. And it does, it's right here. Clicking that opens the tool window and I can now make my selection in the editor and clicking the button to insert the GUID. So as you can see, tool windows are pretty easy to do. They're very powerful, they're flexible, and they are full of nuances just waiting for you to explore.